sentience. In any city, in any country, go to the nearest university, library, or other place of higher learning. Ignore the person at the front desk and simply continue walking. You must find this holder yourself without any assistance. You will soon happen upon a hallway in a seemingly impossible or implausible area of the building. Enter it, lest the opportunity fade away forever. The hallway seems normal at first, even instilling a sense of bliss upon you. However, after a few minutes of walking, you will begin to be consumed by feelings of inadequacy and a realization of your own insignificance in the universe. These thoughts can be staved off depending on your level of intelligence and willpower, but the process is nonetheless inevitable. If you reach the end of the hallway before collapsing into complete insanity, then you will enter a room containing a man in white robes, seemingly more real and solid than anything else around him, including you. He will be consumed in his work, performing actions that seem mundane, yet you will still be unable to comprehend them. You will feel like you are in a dream, losing control of your thoughts and fading away. Act quickly, for the holder will only respond to one question. What is my role in this story? The hooded figure will instantly focus his attention on you, validating your existence. He will instill his knowledge upon you, speaking eloquently and expanding your mind with the story of your actions and their consequences, of your decisions and the factors that led to them. His very words will awaken your mind, and you will realize what you must do. After all is said and done, he gives you a grave warning, a warning that could very well change reality itself. After he is done, you will be allowed to leave. Leave quickly, for no one who took their time has been around to share their story. After you leave, your mind will not be able to sustain the whole of his speech. His very words will fade from your consciousness, leaving only an imprint, easily forgotten. If you can, you must focus and try your hardest to remember one thing above all else, his warning. Without it, you are doomed to failure. When your thoughts clear, you will find yourself in possession of a new object. The object is not a physical item, it is an idea. And that idea is piece number 391.